Howdy and welcome to the Mighty Mighty Chuck channel. I'm Chuck. I is. <laughs> I don't know whether anybody knows this or not, but I, uh, I enlisted all my videos for, I guess it's probably two or three weeks, some, somewhere in there. And now I've re-listed them all. Um, I kind of was playing with the idea of just putting the videos on my website, but my website's getting zero traffic. <laughs> now it's actually getting more traffic from YouTube than I realized, even though it's you know, it's kind of on the sad side. <laughs> but it's still more than I realized. And my, the traffic to my website, it's just bad. Anyway, so I'm back. Chuck, why? Why? Because <laughs> I is. So Jerry Van Dyke, he died January 5th, 2018. That was kind of sad. He was, uh, he was born in 1931. I think he was he was in his 80s I can't do the math <laughs> he was he was uh, let's see probably 87 somewhere in there I guess 86 87 depending on he was born July 27th 1931 so uh, he had a good life um, he's the younger brother brother of uh, Dick Van Dyke uh, Jerry Van Dyke he didn't really have he didn't have quite the success of Dick Van Dyke in, in that his sitcoms, Jerry Van Dyke sitcoms, they pretty much always failed. Although he was, as a character actor, as a side character, he did pretty good like in Coach. He did, he had a, you know, it was a long running part and he did good there. He was a good actor, a good character actor. People like to make fun of the uh, sitcom My Mother the Car. They say it was the worst sitcom ever. There's no, there is no worst sitcom ever. There is no worst sitcom. Uh, all sitcoms are bad. All sitcoms are good. Whether you like them or not, it depends on you. You know, pretty much all humor, it, it has an audience. And um, so a given audience even either likes a sitcom or they hate a sitcom. All sitcoms are bad. All sitcoms are good. It, it's kind of like sci-fi. There's no the most, the, the worst uh, sci-fi. There's no worst sci-fi. Uh, actually, some of the the bad sci-fi's are the best sci-fi's. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, because I actually miss the old kind of sci-fi's that they, you know, that was kind of made fun of because of the overacting or, you know, the kind of amateurish or, or they had to do cheaply done sets back in the old days. But I love that. I thought that was great. So there's no, there's no. The, all sci-fi's are bad. All sci-fi's are good, depending on the audience. All sitcoms are bad. All sitcoms are good, depending on the audience. And that's kind of like this with YouTube. You either find your audience, or you don't. There's either people that like me, or 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 YouTube just shows constantly shows these videos to people that's not gonna like me because YouTube doesn't know what my audience is. I don't know what my audience is. YouTube doesn't know what my audience is. And if you can't find your audience, then you know it's it's problematic, but you know I'm not spending a fortune doing these videos, so it's not that problematic. But like if you're producing a sitcom or a sci-fi, and you can't find your audience, <laughs> and you're spending a lot of money, it's problematic. Yeah. And uh, one thing to note as uh, you know, Jerry Van Dyke, he had a pretty good life, but he did have one major tragedy in his life. Um. His uh, daughter, Kelly Jean Van Dyke, she was an adult film performer, and she was born in 1958. She died in 1991. She committed suicide. Uh, she was 33 years of age. 30s are hard. <laughs> 40s are hard. 50s get more difficult. 60s, oh my fucking God. But yeah, hang in there. You go on. Um, but anyway, that was that was a tragedy in his life. Uh, Jerry Van Dyke's net worth at the time of his death was estimated to be around $15 million. He was still acting up until 2015. He'd been in a car crash, I guess, a little bit after that. And for uh, after the car crash for about the next two years, he kind of, you know, went down. Um, it, when you're in your 80s, um, you know, injuries, they're not good. Well, actually, injuries aren't good at any age, but... You know, uh, at that age, even if you think you, you're you're getting over it, it's still you know the aches and pains and all that. So uh, 
So his his widow basically, you know, she kind of attributed his death back to the car crash that happened, you know, two years previous because he never really got over it. Um, but anyway, he was acting until uh, 2015, and the last uh, sitcom that he was in was uh, The Middle, and he played um, Tag Spence, uh, the father of the uh, mother in the in the sitcom. I think I think that's <laughs> I think that's how it was set up. Uh, the father of the, uh, the the mother, you know. You've watched the middle. Actually, I didn't catch him on it though. I, I, it's not one of those shows I watch every show. You know, I just every once in a while I catch it. I don't think I saw him on it though. Um, he also in 2013 he played Bud in the TV series The Millers. In 2011 he was in the TV series Raising Hope. He was in Moon Ring in 2010. He was in My Name is Earl in 2008. He was in uh, Yes Dear from 2001 to 2005. He was in Committed in 2005. He was in the Dick Van Dyke Show Revisited, the movie in 2004. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I really didn't keep up with stuff better, no, no. Um, he was in Diagnosis Murder, you know, that was his brother's show. He played Stacy Sloan, um, you know, the Big Ben Dyke show, Diagnosis Murder. He, he was in it. Um, that goes 1999. He was in the new Adams Family TV series in 1998. Uh, he was in the TV series You Wish from 1997 to 1998. He was in Teen Angel TV series in 1998. He actually was doing pretty good in 1998. He was in Merry Christmas, George Bailey, a TV movie in 1997. He was in Annabelle's Wish, a TV movie in 1997. And, of course, he was in Coach. You know, that was one of the big parts. From 1989 to 1997, that was a pretty good gig. He was in Grace Under Fire in 1997. Uh, and that was kind of a crossover. He still played Luther Van Damme and that, just like with Coach. Uh, he was in uh, Drew, Drew Carey show. There again, he played Luther Van Damme crossover. Um, he was in uh, To Grandmother's House We Go. That was a TV movie. That was in 1992. Uh, so it kind of had a lag there, but a five-year lag. I was kind of hurt. <laughs> but uh, 1992, 1997. It kind of was a lag there. He was in Charles in Charge in nineteen eighty eight. God, Charles in Charge nineteen eighty eight. That goes way back. A little darks accusing Scott Bale, all kind of crap. Uh, you, know, you supported Trump. We're gonna get even with you. We're gonna talk about how you did things. <laughs> Oh, um, man. supported Trump. We're gonna get all kind of scandals against you now, baby. He looked at me wrong. He did. He looked at me wrong. <laughs> kind of, oh, little dweebs. I'm sorry. I just, I don't buy some of the crap. You know, I live in the real world. <laughs> I know the way the real world or the real world operates. I was once pretty. <laughs> Uh, he was in um, Coming of Age, that was in 1988. Run If You Can, that was 1988. Um, Death Blow for Justice, uh, no, Death Blow, Cry for Justice, that was 1987. Uh, Fresno, that was a TV miniseries, 1986. Remember when they used to do TV miniseries? Those were good. And they, I, for some reason, they quit doing them. Networks. The hell, I put game shows on in prime time. What the hell's up with that? And it took the soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of bitches! Uh, he uh, played in New Heart in 1983. He played Love Boat. 19, I used to love Love Boat. I used to watch that. Fantasy Island. I, I watched it, but I didn't really like it as much as I did Love Boat. I don't know why I really liked Love Boat, really. It kind of had some of that same formula of Love American style. Love Boat did, and, you know, I, I, I liked Love American style, too. I'm old, by the way. Did you know that? I'm old. <laughs> uh, he was in House Calls, 1980. Oh, he was in Fantasy Island. Um, 
1978 to 1981. You know, just he played uh, Fred Fred Cooper, Mr. Brennan. It wasn't like he was on it from those. Those were two episodes. He was in an episode 1978, and he was in an episode 1981. Uh, House Calls, uh, 1980. 13 Queens Boulevard TV series. He was in a good many of those. He played Steve Winters, 1979. He was in the uh, ABC After School Special, 1976. He was in the Mel- Mary Tyler Moore Show, 1972 to 1973. He, there again, it, wasn't, it was like two episodes he was in. He was in Love American Style. Yeah, baby. Love American Style. Uh, 1970, 1971. He was actually in a fair number of those episodes. Um, Headmaster, that was a TV series in 1970. Uh, he played Jerry Brownwell. Um, 1969, he played Angel in My Pocket. Uh, he was on Gomer Pyle, 1968. So he was a character actor, so he did lots and lots of parts rather than being tied in one series. Well, he was in Coach a long time, obviously. But but in parts of his career, he got to do lots and lots and lots of different stuff as a character actor. And $15 million isn't too bad of a, a haul to, you know, to wealth build up. Um, he was in... Uh, Okay, he was in Good Morning World, 1968, Accidental Family, 1967, 1968, Vacation Playhouse, 1967, That Girl, you remember That Girl? God, I, Marlo Thomas, uh-huh, like Marlo Thomas, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, Phil Donahue, son of a bitch. <laughs> married, married my girl, uh-huh. Uh, he was in uh, My Mother's a Car, which people love to put down, and I've already said, no, don't put it down, baby, don't put it down. There are no bad sitcoms. He was in Love and Kisses, 1965. The Andy Griffith Show, uh, 1965. He was in several episodes of The Dick Van Dyke Show, where he played Stacy Petrie, you know, Dick Van Dyke's brother. I know that was a stretch for him. I had to be a stretch. How will I play Dick Van Dyke's brother? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that would be like. No. It was in Perry Mason. He played James Douglas. That was 1964. It was the case of the woeful, woeful widower. Case of the woeful widower. He played James Douglas. In uh, 1963, he was in the the Western McClintock. Um, he was in, that same year, he was in The Courtship of Eddie's Father. Remember that sitcom? That was good. People love that show. I, it was good, and I watched it some. It's not like I had to, you know, it's just kind of watched it passing, but I remember it was so popular. People in school watched it more than I did, really. G.E. <laughs> uh, Trude does a TV series. He played... Uh, Captain Bailey, The Handmaid Private, Captain Bailey. I guess that was Captain, whatever. 1962. Anyway, he had a good career. He he did good. He did better than me, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, most thanks for watching and listening. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. It's not a lot of work to subscribe, you know. It's not a lot of work. You just hit that subscribe <laughs> and, and be sweet and comment. You know, comment if you, you're trying to develop your own YouTube channel. Comment. I, YouTube. If you put links in it, YouTube's going to throw it in the spam folder. And I'm not going to pull it out of the spam folder if you put links in it. But if you don't put links in it, um, generally, I, I, you know, if it's in the spam folder, I'll pull it out. Uh, the only time I've ever really blocked somebody is when they were just being really mean for no reason, and there was no reason for it. I think they're one of the ones that's behind the bots, because they were obviously, when I looked at their profile, they were obviously just a, a spammer, and um, so I blocked them, but generally I don't do that. So, you know, feel free to comment. You just comment something silly, and I'll put your um, there in the comment section. that will be a link to your channel. The, you don't have to link to your channel. Just you put in a comment, your picture there. That is your link to your channel. And then you, from whatever your channel, if you're if you're a spammer, fine. 
as long as you don't spam them on my channel, because I don't want to be thrown into a bad neighborhood by Google, which I think they're already kind of doing anyway. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, much thanks for watching and listening. I appreciate it. And, and you know, you can put a comment. Just don't be mean. Because, I mean, if you're, if you're mean to the point that it's obvious you're trying to hurt the channel, I kind of respond badly to that. If you're just being funny, fine. But, like, if you're just picking at me to be mean, I, I got tired of that. With some of the people I played along, but I really got tired of it because I'm having enough problems without that crap. Um, so, anyway, you know, you know how to do it. You know how to comment. And, and like I said, when you comment, your little picture thing there next to the comment, that is your link. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to put a link. Anyway, much thanks for watching and listening. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it.